going on YouTube? This is the official uh, review of the Kevman's carbon fiber trunk lid. Um, it's been installed and uh, not without any problems, of course. There's a lot of problems. Um, a couple of things that they did not do was um, provide the slots for the uh, trunk release and the backup hammer. So I'm gonna have to get in there with the Dremel and cut those out. It's kind of a pain in the ass. But you can see just the quality of this. It's definitely not as good as, uh, as it should be. It seems almost rushed. Like they just rushed this thing and to get it sent out. Also, there's this like white powder that's just everywhere. Uh, I had to cut this here with a um, uh, jigsaw just to get these to screw in. Same thing on the other side. Um, other than that though, this thing is really, uh, the fitment, it's not that, it's not good at all. This isn't coming off either. Um, you can see the work here in the mold. Looks like it wasn't sanded enough. It's just really quick I mean, things are flaking off. I figured I'd actually shoot this outside for a change instead of always in my garage. Um, but yeah, I'm going to close it, give you a look from the, out, uh, the outside. Um, talk about from a price point uh, stance, like <clears throat> it is a lot cheaper than a Cybon one. And there are imperfections on this one. So if you're looking for a budget carbon fiber trunk lid, this is probably your best option, but it's not flawless. There's some waves in here. You wouldn't notice it unless you own this, this trunk and you looked at it every day. You wouldn't be able to see them otherwise. But yeah, you can kind of see a little bit here. Other than that though, I mean, overall, am I happy with the trunk? Yes, and am I disappointed that I had to do the work that I did to get it to work, or to um, to get the stock pieces to get to, to be put on? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, you shouldn't have to do all that. I sit up there cutting and modifying and all that. Um, yeah, let's talk about the fitment real quick. So I messed with this um, for about a half hour, and this is the best I could do. But you see it kind of sticks up here. And then on this side, it's a huge gap. So not too great there. Um, my side on hood in the front has the same issue, but it's nowhere near as bad. But yeah, I mean, overall, uh, not too bad. Uh, score of uh, score of one to 10, I give it give it a I give it a seven and a half for the price for the fact that it's a one piece has a little bit of that duck bill there not bad could be spending 1200 bucks for it but I think I got this one for like seven what was it 750 something like that so all right I'm just shooting this uh, I'm just getting off of work so I'll make it real quick quick video again taking advantage of the beautiful day natural sunlight but uh, yeah until next time I am gonna do a re full review on the car I shot that in my garage last time and I I've been wanting to do it outside um, so I'll just shoot it again after work catch a nice sunny day and just go through everything that I've done so far in the car so hopefully I don't bore you too much with that uh, that's about it until next time I will see you all later Oh, also, as far as drilling and, and mounting a spoiler to the trunk, this area is super thin, very, very thin. So what I did was I went to Home Depot and I found these uh, metal plates that are used to join uh, pieces of wood. I forgot what they are called, but they come in different sizes. It's basically a flat piece of steel and it's, it, it's flexible. It has some flex in it, but I put those underneath and then screw that to the bottom so far so good i've gotten this thing up to you know maybe 85 90 miles an hour
and I'm kind of just tugging on it a little bit just to see how it's doing, if it's starting to crack or anything. Uh, so far, so good. I'll update this in about six months just to see how it's holding up. But uh, really quickly, let me talk about the springs here. When you pop your trunk for the first time, your trunk is going to fly open like a like a freaking uh, mousetrap because it's so much lighter than a stock one. So with the spoiler on here, I'm going to show you what I mean. I'm actually going to pop it and you'll see what happens. So right now it's popped and it doesn't fly up and it just releases it so you can open it. So it's like the perfect weight on here. So when you do close it, all you do is just, that's it, and it's closed again. You don't have to slam it or nothing. So that is nice. All right, that's about it. I've run my mouth too much. Uh, until next, guy, next time, guys, peace.